We're back live at Rexall Place in Edmonton, Alberta. The end of two periods, 2 nothing Kings. And there's the Hall of Fame announcer for 37 years on radio, Rod Phillips, being congratulated by Ryan Smith and Steve McIntyre and his family out at center ice. He got a Stanley Cup ring that they didn't give him after the first Stanley Cup. And then a great moment here as they raise the banner, 3,000. 542 games he's done as the radio voice of the Edmonton Oilers. He is with us right now. Congratulations. It's a great night for you. Uh, what are your emotions? Well, uh, just uh, s almost stunned silence. Uh, uh, I was flabbergasted because uh, it's, I mean, getting the, uh, the, the 84 ring uh, was right out of the blue. You know, to have your banner go up, uh, you know, I mean, it's just overwhelming. It, it's been uh, a fantastic two days for me, and uh, I just have to thank the order so very much. Uh, you know, they're a class organization, and uh, they've been that way for a long time, Bob, and uh, uh, I've just been fortunate to be a part of it. Well, you've done a lot for the Oilers organization, and the Kings and the Oilers have had such a rivalry. Of course, a game that we like to remember in a series, and you'd like to forget, 1982, when the Kings upset a very good Oiler team. I thought I'd bring that up. I got another one to bring up, too. <laughs> well, you're winning this one tonight, uh, 2 to nothing. But, yeah, I mean, uh, there's been... Uh, you know, there's been some fabulous uh, playoff series between uh, between these hockey two teams, and uh, this was a bitter pill, uh, uh, the the, uh, the 82 series. But uh, you know what? The Oilers might have learned more from that series by losing to the Kings uh, than they would have. Uh, you know, that was that was one of the steps they had going towards the Stanley Cup. So uh, uh, there's there's Daryl Evans. <laughs> I'll never forget that night. We were stunned. I mean, it was just uh, unbelievable. Such a great night for you guys, and, yeah. you know, it was an awful night for us. Talk about being stunned. What about 1988, August? Wayne Gretzky gets traded to the Kings. What do you remember about that day? Uh, yeah, basically, uh, being sick to my stomach. Uh, over, you know, it was, uh, it was really a, a tough, tough scene. It was... Uh, well, what we're watching right now, to watch Gretz put on the Kings uniform, uh, we saw this press conference back in Edmonton, and uh, uh, it was uh, it was just, it, we couldn't believe it. Uh, we, yeah, but uh, eventually, uh, you know, uh, it, it, the healing process took years and years and years for the Oilers fans. I think it was probably a, a little bit after the 1990 Stanley Cup, because they won a Stanley Cup in 1990. Right. But it was still well into the 90s before fans started to get over it. Well, you and I have had something uh, that uh, no other broadcasters have had, and that is to see Wayne Gretzky yeah. a lot of nights and be able to call a lot of his uh, great goals and his great milestones, and uh, I know that'll be in your memory as it is in mine down through the years. This is one of the really good people I have always enjoyed having you in L.A. with the Oilers or coming up here to play the Oilers. It's, it's just been great to get together with you. He's got the greatest laugh of anybody when I tell him a joke. Have you heard the one about, about maybe I better not do that? So the one you told me this morning, <laughs> I got to remember that too. But we can't tell it on television. But you know what? Uh, it couldn't happen to two better guys, Bob. Well, no, I agree with that. Rod, congratulations! It's been a great night for you, and uh, enjoy your retirement. I, I certainly will, and uh, I'll uh, I'll see you in LA because uh, I won't be too far down the road in Phoenix. Okay, Rod Phillips, 37 years as the voice on radio of the Oilers, and when we come back.